All right, welcome back to Rhino Toolhouse. Uh, today we're talking about the simplicities of setting a clutch tool. Uh, we are going to adjust the actual torque settings on a clutch tool. Today we have for you is the DeSuter Elite tool. The DeSuter Elite tool comes in a pistol grip form up to 12 newton meters and a right angle form up to 60 newton meters on a clutch tool. When you're transitioning from a pneumatic tool such as a pulse tool to a more high accuracy or even a battery tool, this is sort of the next step up. This is a precision clutch tool, gets you to the plus or minus 10% uh, at Six Sigma with this clutch tool. It doesn't have a transducer in it, so it has its motor. It's battery powered, uh, and the clutch is what is shuts off at your desired torque. But you have to set that torque and that clutch along the range of this tool. This is a six newton meter tool. We're gonna to show a little bit of how you set these clutch tools. Now, at Rhino Tool House, we represent uh, companies such as DeSuter when it comes to clutch tools, but we also have other brands as well, like Bosch, uh, for instance, Makita, Panasonic, uh, Fine, and others out there. So, with the DeSuter, how you actually open up the window is you, is you put in a standard uh, quarter inch hex, and you actually move the motor until you get into position. Now in position you'll see an actual window open on the actual spring side and that's how you're gonna set your clutch by simply putting a screwdriver in place. There is a plus and a minus on the actual clutch. You're gonna rotate left to reduce it, or excuse me, you're gonna rotate right, righty tighty to reduce the amount of torque and you're gonna uh, rotate left to increase the amount of torque. So on here we have a crane uh, IQ view system, your crane IQ view system is great for doing checks such as this. Uh, this has multiple different torque strategies as part of the, the crane IQ view system. We have a tracking system, we have a click dip strategy, we have a peak strategy which is we're on set right now. Crane is the only one right now that has a pulse uh, pulse calibration or a pulse check as well for any frequencies of the pulse tools out there or even the newer latest and greatest DC pulses uh, that DeSuter offers or Estic offers. There's also a yield strategy and there is a move on strategy with the Crane IQ View check feature that is on this Samsung tablet. So we're going to run it down. We have one of their we have one of their check star multis here. Uh, this is a transducer, a rotary transducer that is going to read the torque that's on this Elite tool from DeSuter. So we run it down, we get 2.79 on the screen. I'm going to back it off, let's run it down again. 2.8, run it down again, 2.8, and one more time, 2.76. So from there, I would like to increase my torque. I want to get up to the, about the three newton meter range. So again, I'm gonna put my Allen key inside the final drive. I'm gonna rotate the, mo the motor until I see the cutout, which uh, looks to be a half moon on the clutch. I'm gonna put my screwdriver in, and on this for the actual DeSuter tool, I'm gonna to rotate to the left. Rotating the left is going to increase my tension on my spring, which ultimately increases the torque value. I rotated enough to be able to increase the torque value. We'll take this back out, make sure my joints actually unloosen, and then we're gonna tighten it down. And you'll see I'm now at 3.4. 3.48, run it back, run it down again, 3.49. Run it down again, 3.43. And one more time, 3.42. A very easy, simplistic way to change the clutch settings or the torque settings on a clutch tool such as the DeSuter one here, the Bosch, the Fine, the other brands that we represent here at Rhino Toolhouse. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.